This is the uh, sign at the entryway to uh, the Tonopah test range. I'm just gonna... I can't reach that missile without climbing the fence, so I'm just gonna give one of these posts my sticker treatment. So I'm headed in here today to uh, a viewpoint to watch the, uh, the base and the runway. Let's see if we can catch some uh, <clears throat> something taking off or landing. That missile thing you see there, that's not uh, legit. The front end of it, I believe, is a nuclear bomb, and the back end is off some kind of missile, so there's just kind of a cobbled together out of parts. Still pretty neat looking. So it's paved down to the gates, but uh, I gotta go off road for quite a ways. So what I do is I take my truck in a ways and then I quad in the rest of the way. Is why um, this base is uh, is worth keeping an eye on, even more so I think than Area 51. At least this base. I mean, you can actually. I'll, I'll see if I can. I'll put some video up uh, along with with this uh, of the fact that you can see the runway from the highway going by. Uh, you, at night, the runway lights. During the day, if you know what you're looking for. You can see it, but if you do, if you don't, then I mean it just blends into the landscape. But at night, when they got the runway lights on, it's 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 quite apparent. Now you're not going to see anything. Um, you might see see some taking some lights on something taking off, but you're, there's no way you're going to be able to make out what it is at night, at least from the highway, at least. coming up on the spot here where I like to park my truck and uh, quad the rest of the way in. A nice uh, flat spot here where I can unload my quad. Yeah, so the base is down that way. Tonopah test range and then I'm going up that way on my quad and I'll be up on that butte over there. Quite a bit cooler here than uh, down by Vegas or even up by Area 51. It's quite a bit higher elevation. It was really cold last night, so I almost turned the furnace on. It was so cold. Oh, I'm just gonna load up my gear and uh, head out. Just load the last of my stuff up here tripod. I screwed up and forgot to, uh, forgot to bring a second tripod so I can't. I usually have two. Uh, I have a telescope and a spotting scope and I usually have them both set up. One to watch with and one with my camera attached to. But uh, I forgot. I forgot one. So I'm just going to have to make do with one. Which I can do. It's back in Canada.
hill is pretty steep, so I would suggest if anybody's planning on coming up here, if you're not hiking, you're going to need a AT four-wheel drive ATV or a Jeep or something. And it's pretty steep and pretty rocky. I've been here about an hour. I got my uh, Celestron and my camera set up. Uh, so far, I haven't really seen anything. Uh, it's getting tough. I, I mean, I should have been here. If you really want to get a good view, you got to be here in the morning before the you see the heat waves coming up because up, it really uh, distorts the picture. So I, I can't tell anything. I can't tell if they got hangers or open or anything. So yeah, you want to get her early and you want to get with the sun behind you. Um, and I'm not going to, I'm not going to give the exact coordinates of this, this butte that I'm on. But the, the point is, <clears throat> it's like Tickaboo Peak, you want to, well not like Tickaboo Peak, sort of, kind of. <clears throat> you want to get in a position where you're looking into any hangars that are open. So if you look in the map, you can pretty much tell which direction you got to be to see inside a hangar. And um, I mean, ideally you want you want a hangar open and something in there. You want to be early enough if you're not getting the, the key days and the sun's behind you. But uh, I, I, I'll see what I can see here today. This is my other setup, um, along with the Celestron scope, I've got this Vision King telescope, which actually works pretty good too. It's got a nice sun shield on it, I can slide in and out. But, really a nice focusing mechanism. It's not a great scope, telescope, but it works pretty good. some half decent video from uh, do a nice pan a pan and uh, get some video well they had uh, one of the hangar base was open one of the big hangars on uh, one of the typical uh, hangars where they have the F117s in the rows but uh, there's a couple of big hangars they had the doors open but I didn't see anything come in or out so Unfortunately. I just noticed some, there was uh, air traffic from uh, the Tonopah Tower to a Janet. But no Janet's come in or taken off. But then I heard a, a, a jet to uh, to uh, the southeast of where I am, which is where Area 51 is. So I'm wondering if uh, Tonopah, the TTR tower, looks after uh,
Okay, well, I am loaded up. Late in the day. You see your flight operations shut down on a regular schedule. Although they kind of night tasks, but there's no way I'm going to stick around up here for that. I'm not going to see anything anyway. Runway lights, that's about it. This is the main gate of uh, the TTR, Tonopah Test Range. They, uh, wow, they're really torn it up and they're doing a bunch of work on it. So I'm just going to stop here and get some video and some pictures. I'm not sure what they're building over there. So these facilities here, um, it's referred to as the man camp. 